After leaving Copenhagen and saying goodbye to our friend Scott, we spent our weekend exploring Oslo, boating to the islands, visiting church, and relaxing by the water. Please enjoy as we continue our study of Nordic political economy with site visits in Oslo, Norway, and beyond. Where are we going this morning? Oh my we're going we're walking. This, we're going on this tram. We were just at Berke. We talked about like lobbying, trade, um, labor shortage, the trade-off between labor and port. I definitely was half awake, but no one needs to know that, you know. We keep it in in the circle. It was a good first site visit. From Virke, we toured more of the city, hearing from our wonderful tour guide, Rolf. Who is that? <laughs> Swedish king, who decided to build the palace. Oh! He was the first one to inhabit the palace. Oh! Our second visit of the day took us to the Clarion Hub Hotel, where we learned about the hospitality industry in Norway. Oh, <laughs> I like that one. It kept me awake. I was very intrigued by the lifestyle aspect of things. So, a ten out of ten in my book. So, two visits, one more to go. Well, we got we got our lunch. She's excited. I didn't get anything besides. Can we fix that for you? I love my salad. I ordered well. Luke, do you have a perspective on the the burger? Uh, just say it. It really made me appreciate the yonk and gas away the Water's good though. <laughs> After lunch, if it wasn't already clear, Akafa chose violence, this time against the Wheaton swim team and the tradition of Mastodon March. I was scarred against my will. Let's Why? start there. It's our uniform. <laughs> Wait a second, what? No. Akafa, um, are you ever going to come cheer me on at a swim meet? I would cheer you on. So why is it any different that we're wearing because a Speedo outside? Because it's different. I didn't know you were running in your uniform. I just thought people were running around in underwear. It was uh, our swimsuit. No, but the question of the year is, were you a part of that group, yes or no? Yes, I was. Yes. I stand by it. <laughs> so was Philip. Okay. That's all I need to ask. Your Honor. Questions <laughs> adjourned. We just took a bus from the city center out here to the site visit. Poppy, where are we going right now? Something about suns and oceans. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ocean sun. You know, we can talk about those solar panels that they don't let us sit down. Really the planes will be raised. <laughs> yes, they'll be raised. We're here outside, we got Norway. That's it. <laughs> At Ocean Sun, we learned about alternative ways of producing energy, as Norway attempts to decrease its reliance on fossil fuels. I just had a couple really long breaks. That was it. That was it. That's great. That was pretty good. Um, honestly, it was trying to resist taking a candy, uh, but uh, it, was, uh, it was interesting. Can you, can you describe what a chandy is? Um, it's really just the act of chilling. <laughs> I think we all need to take a chandy 24-7. That night, we had some extra special plans. We're going to dinner on scooters right now, and then after that, we're going to take a sauna on the harbor. It was amazing. This is my kind of video. I can't believe we're here. 
That was so much fun. Jasmine, you're killing me here. Best $18 I've ever spent. Wow. Yeah. 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 This is our first site visit of today. A sculpture park. It's the largest sculpture park <laughs> by one single Sorry. sculptor in the world. <laughs> and the whole park is the biggest park in Oslo. There's a lot of naked bodies, so there's also that aspect. This is actually the only sculpture he made with clothes on. Why are they naked? There was two reasons for that. He wanted it to be timeless, and he wanted it to be classless. Okay. Are you, are it's something. It's very natural. It's, it is. It is beautiful. It is yeah. very beautiful. Yeah. Um, it's not something you'd see around Wheaton College no. very much. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. No. Oh. Not yet. In two or three years, I'm gonna have a plan. Is that our? Is that our like yeah. some graduating chapel. class the gift? Prayer garden? Yeah. It's exactly. Gonna have these. It's gonna be like a senior class gift to be. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. I do think that it has a way of. Um, of course. Of course. <laughs> I don't know, looking at God's creation in a way that we don't often do in our modern society. I think the uh, the ding-dong physics were a little off. But I think overall, solid, literally, but like, you know, good. Good work. Well done. I like it in my house, in my bedroom. But it is gorgeous. We've been taking some photography Oh yeah, we've been taking photography. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, oh. <laughs> Following in the footsteps of Gustav Wiglam. <laughs> I'm not done yet though, but this is the beginning. In you have progress. to compare it with like, <laughs> I really like that set too. <laughs> so, hey. Looking amazing, Elise. So Thank you. Oh, also, Andrew, yeah, not bad. It. Not bad. I love yeah. the shading. Andrew, like Thank you. Seems Actually, everyone doubted me. I did that. Yes. Where are we? At the church that we went to on Sunday. Just in in visiting yeah. Philadelphia ch uh, church again, mm -hmm. which was good, mm -hmm. except I did fall asleep. But then he woke up. I suggested water. Fall it asleep. seemed to work after I that. It was only for a little bit. I look over and it was it was, it was subtle. At the yeah. end, Dr. Taylor pulled calls for prayer, and he said he doesn't normally do that. He's like Elise. Like I felt like it should be you, but I was with and I was like. <laughs> but then we got one of the best surprises of the trip. What? Scott! Wait! Scott! 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 before heading on to our next site visit at Karn Capital, an investment group. Hello. We are currently in a co-working space. I don't have enough sleep and I had two shots of espresso. Um, we're vibing. It's really beautiful. You can see the sky from the bottom. Um, we're going to meet with the Sovereign Wealth Fund fella. Or like, he managed the Sovereign Wealth Fund of Norway before. He's over there, they're shaking hands. <laughs> My favorite, easily the best. Song. My favorite because it was something I'm interested in. Guy was very uh, experienced and um, knowledgeable in the world of investment. So I liked it a lot. It was great. I'd like to add that I'd kill for a poke ball right now. 
Oh, it's right here. So oh. earlier today, Andrew explained that he was absolutely going to win some sort of competition. Every competition. <laughs> I have won. No, I'm kidding. I'm going to win, though, because I'm good at this. So, Andrew or Captain Iglesias, you oh, want to explain? I picked dinner, and I won. Well, he's being really <laughs> modest. He worked it because he was making lots of phone calls and checked the internet. So we're going to a barbecue <laughs> restaurant. And in order to reward him for his efforts, you got some earbud holder. Yes. Or a, so here you go. Yay. Golf block. Golf It is an honor. It is an honor. How was dinner? It was fantastic. We talked about styling people and ate good food. All courtesy of me. Boom! That evening, we scooted around and showed Scott our favorite spots around the Oslo Harbor. Guys, it's a new day. And guess what we found? A restaurant in Saga. I'm sad that we're leaving Oslo tomorrow, but you know, I, I enjoyed the city. It was wonderful, and we miss it. But we are. I'm excited to go to Stavanger. <laughs> we are headed to the the art museum, the National Art Museum. To look at some art. What was particularly exciting at the National Museum was getting to be one of the first groups to ever visit since it had just opened the previous weekend. Leave the museum. It was quite wonderful. We, um, I barely got through any of the whole thing. Like there was just so much to get through. But it was beautiful. It was kind of cool to be like, oh, we're some of the first people to go through this museum. Um, I got to do a little like drawing thing. That was really fun. Was this the one you saw with the prime minister? Mm -hmm. It was. And where are we right now? You know, I couldn't tell you. I thought we were going to the parliament. I thought so too, but I think it got changed yet again. Okay, so, so we're just gonna see what's in here. You know, we visited an accounting firm and we talked a little about taxes, sustainability, and the avenue forward for the European Union resolving um, sustainability standards. We also had to part ways with our wonderful tour guide, Rolf. Then some of us did laundry before we met up for our last dinner in Oslo. We are at a tapas restaurant and we're about to eat food and I'm so excited because we had lunch like a million hours ago. <laughs> Three people to a plate, baby! Andrew, how do you feel about being the designated foodie for your trip? I feel, I feel honored. I've quickly become just like, quickly become the trip favorite. <laughs> I, have, I have found glory in Captain Iglesias' eyes. Is that not my goal from the start? It was, it was really good. We got just a variety of various foods. Um, some meatballs, some, some ham, jamon, some could say. The lava cake, 10 out of 10. Um, Andrew, I uh, don't think can make it through a meal without spilling all over himself. Andrew, how was uh, how was dinner? Oh. And spilling literally everything on it yourself. Good. It was great. It every was single great. course. Every, yeah, just oh. every time there's just a new spot. Uh, you no, know, I can only do so much for this oh. team. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Control yourself. Scott, you were at the other table. I was. I was at the actual table with the actual captain. Not a coward. Hey. Well, I sat. I sat at the table. 
uh, with the captain and the professors. Uh, the experience was uh, it was like it was informative more than anything. To be honest, I got a lot of good movie recommendations. Uh, learned a lot about myself, really. Uh, I didn't actually I didn't hear anybody bring up Andrew. Like believe it or not, I didn't hear that come up a single time in the topic of conversation. So, um, I, I heard my state innovation. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> we were definitely the over budget. Was sneezed at and we ran by. <laughs> we, we were we were over budget for sure. But because of how excellent it was and how much the captain enjoyed it, he did, was not bothered by that.